Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1765, after a campaign by the writer Voltaire, judges in Paris posthumously exonerate Jean Collet of murdering his son. It is probable that his son committed suicide. In 1776, Adam Smith publishes his influential economics book, The Wealth of Nations. In 1796, the future emperor of France, Napoleon Bonaparte, married Josephine. In 1798, Dr. George Balfour becomes the first naval surgeon in the U.S. Navy. In 1820, the Philippines chase out foreigners. About 125 people die. In 1822, Charles Graham of New York is granted the first patent for artificial teeth. In 1831, the French Foreign Legion was founded by King Louis-Philippe. In 1839, the Prussian government limits the work week for children to 51 hours. I know adults who don't work that much a week. In 1841, the U.S. Supreme Court determines that captive Africans who had seized control of the ship carrying them were taken into slavery illegally. In 1842, the first documented discovery of gold in California occurs at Rancho San Francisco. In 1846, the first large amphibious assault in U.S. history is launched in the Siege of Veracruz during the Mexican-American War. In 1856, Sigma Alpha Epsilon is founded in the Johnston Mansion House on the University of Alabama. In 1958, Albert Potts of Philadelphia patents the street mailbox. In 1862, the first battle of ironclad ships, the Monitor and the Virginia, take each other on, marking the beginning of a new era of naval warfare. In 1864, Ulysses S. Grant is appointed the commander of the Union Army. In 1889, Kansas passes the first general antitrust law in the United States. In 1891, the Great Blizzard of 1891 begins in England today and lasts until March 13th. It kills 200 people and 6,000 animals. In 1897, the MLB's Cleveland Spiders sign Louis Sock Alexis, a full-blooded Penobscot Native American, to their team. Also in 1897, Cleveland Indians fans start calling the team the Indians. It becomes their official nickname in 1915, and just recently was changed. In 1916, Pancho Villa leads nearly 500 Mexican Raiders in an attack against Columbus, New Mexico. In 1918, the Russian Bolshevik Party becomes the Communist Party. In 1926, Bertha Landis is elected the first woman mayor of Seattle, Washington. In 1931, the electron microscope is invented. In 1933, the U.S. Congress is called into special session by FDR, beginning its 100 days. In 1934, the first human ever in space, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, is born. In 1935, Adolf Hitler publicly announces the creation of a new air force called the Luftwaffe. In 1942, construction of the Alaska Highway begins. In 1943, American chess player Bobby Fischer is born in Chicago. Also in 1943, the Greek Jews of Salonika are transported to Nazi extermination camps. In 1944, the Soviet Air Force conducts heavy bombing in Estonia killing up to 800 people, mostly civilians. In 1945, the U.S. Army Air Forces bombed Tokyo with napalm, causing fires that destroyed much of the city and killed 80,000 civilians. In 1946, Ted Williams is offered $500,000 to play in the Mexican Baseball League, but he says no. In 1954, Joseph Stalin's funeral is held in Moscow after four days of national mourning. After his reign of tyranny, I wonder how many were actually mourning. In 1954, CBS television broadcasts the See It Now episode, a report on Senator Joseph McCarthy. Also in 1954, broadcast journalist Edward R. Murrow criticizes Senator Joseph McCarthy. How could you not? In 1956, Archbishop Makarios of Cyprus is arrested and exiled to the Seychelles. I wish I could be exiled to the Seychelles. In 1957, a magnitude 8.3 earthquake in Alaska triggers a Pacific-wide tsunami 
which causes extensive damage to the islands of Hawaii and Oahu. In 1959, the Barbie doll goes on sale. According to Mattel, three Barbies are sold every second. Also in 1959, the Coasters song Charlie Brown peaks at number two on the Billboard Top 100. In 1961, Sputnik 9 successfully launches, carrying a human dummy named Ivan Ivanovich and demonstrating that the Soviet Union was ready to begin human spaceflight. Also in 1961, the Supremes released both of their singles, I Want a Guy and Never Again. In 1963, the Beatles began their first British tour by opening for Tommy Rowe and Chris Montez. In 1964, French actress and dancer Juliette Binoche was born. Also in 1964, the first Ford Mustang is produced. In 1968, at the 10th Grammy Awards, the Fifth Dimension's Up, Up and Away and the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album win. In 1975, construction of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System begins. In 1976, the deadliest cable car accident in history occurs in Italy. In 1977, in a 39-hour standoff, armed Hanafi Muslims seize three Washington, D.C. buildings, killing two and taking 149 hostages. In 1979, MLB Commissioner Bowie Kuhn orders baseball to give equal access to female reporters. In 1981, Dan Rather becomes the primary anchorman of CBS TV News. In 1984, John Lennon's single, Borrowed Time, is released posthumously. In 1986, NASA announces that searchers have found the remains of the Challenger astronauts. In 1987, U2 releases their fifth album, The Joshua Tree, and it wins the Grammy for Best Album in 1988. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan presides at the unveiling of the Newt Rockney stamp. You should Google why. In 1989, Eastern Airlines files for bankruptcy. In 1990, Dr. Antonio Novello is sworn in as the Surgeon General of the United States and becomes both the first female and the first Hispanic American to serve in that position. In 1995, MLB Baseball awards a franchise to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. In 1996, iconic American actor George Burns passes away at 217 years old. No, he was only 100. Say goodnight, Gracie. In 1997, American rapper Notorious B.I.G. dies. Also in 1997, people in China, Mongolia, and Eastern Siberia are treated to an extremely rare double feature as an eclipse permits the Hale-Bopp comet to be seen during the day. In 1998, Dr. Dre's Aftermath Entertainment signs a then-unknown rapper called Eminem. In 2002, Joe Sackick plays his 1,000th career NHL game. Also in 2002, financial advice TV show The Susie Orman Show premieres on CNBC. In 2007, the U.S. Justice Department releases an internal audit finding that the Federal Bureau of Investigation had acted illegally by using the Patriot Act to secretly obtain personal information about U.S. citizens. In 2010, the first same-sex marriages in Washington, D.C. take place. In 2011, after 39 flights, the Space Shuttle Discovery completes its final mission. In 2015, U.S. President Barack Obama signs an executive order declaring Venezuela a national security threat to the United States. In 2020, Italy announces it is locking down the entire country due to a spike in COVID-19 cases, with 10,040 cases and 630 deaths to date. In 2021, Brazil records its highest daily COVID-19 death toll to date of 1,972 deaths, with 168, 370 deaths overall. And lastly, in 2021, China and Russia agree to build a research station on or around the moon and collaborate on lunar missions. That was March 9th. I hope you enjoyed it well enough to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. And I have some more videos right there in front of you.